It's a beautiful uh, Sunday morning here in Chanakale. It's a beautiful uh, Sunday morning here in Chanakale. The city is more peaceful in the morning than it was in the evening, that's uh, normal. We'll try to explore the city on a daylight and we're planning a trip to Troya, to visit Troya, to visit uh, the city along the Dardanelles stream. That was the clock tower, quite a nice one. Now in the morning it's a totally a different vibe uh, over here, it's more peaceful and it's an enjoyable place to take a walk, ah, feel the breeze and uh, try to taste some of the uh, specialties from here. The temperature I have to say that it's uh, just perfect, 25, 27, something like that, it's uh, actually a perfect one. We can see it better in the sunlight. And with a Trojan horse in our in our backside, we're gonna explore the Chanakale. Imagine uh, you have an apartment over there where the Turkish flag is. You have a beautiful panorama over the over the city and over the harbor. This is the beautiful promenade along the along the stream and uh, it's nice to to be able to do this first thing in the morning Sunday morning otherwise uh, this place is quite crowded once the the evening starts it's uh, quite crowded over here but now it's a perfect time to enjoy it I've noticed uh, something very interesting. The police here, they have a uh, motorcycles uh, NC 700 and C 750X BMWs. So uh, I saw actually a uh, police uh, over here with an NC. I think it was an NC uh, 700. The water seems to me very clean from, uh, from what I can see. Looks uh, very clean, can actually see the rocks. Although this is a friendly uh, place for motorcycles over here, still we still have these signs. Uh... Motocyclet Park Edemez. Yamaha Tracer, one of the police motorcycles. We are now going to take a look at the Chinmenlik castle. 
Ya vamos. ¿Dónde vamos a hacer? As you can see, uh, this exposition over here with the cannons, mines, and check out that one. Looks uh, very interesting. This is Chanakale Deniz Museshi. What's uh, this one? It's actually the UB-46, which was built in Germany, in Bremen, and it was launched in 1915. It had, uh, this submarine had overall uh, 37 length, almost, 37 meters, and her beam is 4.5 meters. Looks, looks really impressive. Check it out, check out its size. These are the remains of this. And these are the control practice mine, American, 1945. Anti-sweep mine, 1960. All sorts of mines. And here is the entrance for the fortress. But first, we'll check out these cannons over here. Field gun, a French field gun. 1884, 1895, 24 millimeters cannon and this is a gun carriage a french gun carriage from 1916 this is a actually a field gun a french field gun from 1884 iron cavalry cannon british 1857 and all sorts of cannons and here it's a light it says it's dangerous to go uh, and forbidden to do, go down to the shore you can see over there also another fortress over the stream check out this exploded uh, moored mine a german from the beginning of the 20th century this was used uh, in the first world war model mine mk49 submarine and surface ship launch bottom mine And these are all uh, surface and anti-surface ship torpedoes. Here it's a nice panorama place. Oh, very nice. Check out this, this view, not bad at all. And here you can see more from the fortress outside. Now let's enter Chinmenlik Castle. These are actually some uh, Russian uh, field guns, 7.62 centimeters, also that one. And uh, here we can uh, actually uh, see the cannon fired from Queen Elizabeth. This uh, cannon from 19th, 20th century, uh, 5 centimeters. This is the Queen Elizabeth uh, ship, which was built in Portsmouth and it was launched in uh, Fairfield on October 16, 1930. It was the only ship of its class that had 16 units of 15 centimeters guns. The first battle she participated was Chanakale Naval Battles and Campaign. And here are some remains from this ship. definitely recommend uh, also visiting this museum if you're coming here it's uh, really an experience losing yourself uh, through these catacombs and uh, now we still have to see the, the shipyard museum I think it's a short part and then uh, we're gonna move and uh, go to all the Troya fortress which is about uh, 27 kilometers 30 from uh, Chanakale we're gonna ride the motorcycle
this uh, ship looks like a military ship or uh, not really maybe a cruising ship you can actually enter here it's another exposition and over there it's a uh, chana kalesin from the boat from this boat yeah it's quite a nice feeling to be on the boat nice spot over here you can uh, you can have the feeling uh, riding this uh, this ship and here is the uh, the driver's compartment the commander compartment check this out it was quite an experience i recommend it that's for sure time to go to troya Now you can make uh, an impression about uh, this part of the city also during the daylight. It's uh, very hot. You can really feel the temperature now. It's over 30. In this place you find uh, quite a balance between the amount of motorcycle scooters and cars. We are usually used uh, with 99% uh, cars, but now uh, when you have uh, scooters, which are actually uh, almost as fast as you are, uh, you have really to pay attention uh, differently than you are paying attention with the cars. Troyan horse, the museum shop, the 10 cities of Troy, the Pythos garden and the archaeological site. This is the Trojan horse from, from Troya. So we have here the northeast bastion, the east wall, the temple of Athena, the south gate and the Odeon. Now we are sitting directly on the south gate of Troy 6, probably the principal entrance to the citadel. And now we're gonna see the various levels of uh, Troy. This is an excellent, uh, this is an excellent insight into the Strait of the Mount of uh, Hisarlik, and uh, is given by the eastern profile, visible to the south where uh, we stand now. And we can check out this uh, these layers and see two, three, four. Actually, there are six. I see nine different layers. So if you are coming to Chanakale, it will be really a pity not to make uh, less than an hour, 27 kilometers uh, until here and visit this, uh, this archaeological place, this Troya fortress.
if you're coming here you must taste this uh, amazing orange juice and uh, rhodia juice it's a special place over here with the amazing decoration check out this uh, radio there are more radios it's, a, it's an amazing place here and the taste of the juice it's uh, just fantastic the orange juice it's uh, 20 liras Rodia juice 60 liras it's uh, wow, amazing and you have here uh, the orange is uh, <laughs> over here you have a special place uh, here to sit and admire the the traffic conk toast toast conk 